friends from Geronimo Tequila Bar and Southwest Grill, one of my favorites down in New Haven and Fairfield. Uh, General Manager Luigi Rapuano is back with us. Nice to see you again, yes, my nice friend. To see you. Uh, listen, you know, we're uh, you, last time you were here a couple weeks ago, we, we were here for Tequila Day. Right. Uh, we're kind of taking it a step further. We're going to do a little thing with Mezcal. Yes, we're going to do Mezcal. Uh, now, but for, give us a quick Tequila Mezcal 101. What's the difference? So tequila is made, and Mezcal are made from the same plant. They're mm -hmm. both made from the agave plant. However, tequila has to be made with a specific species of agave okay. called Blue Weber Agave. Okay. It must be at least 10 years old. It's a completely different process, whereas Mezcal can be made with uh, two-year-old agave. It can be made with green agave. Really? It can be made with any species of agave. So I'm kind of, so Mezcal is a little more commonplace, do I say, because of the, the different varieties? Mezcal, so all, te all tequila is Mezcal, but Mezcal is not considered tequila. Did you get all that? There will be a quiz coming up in the yes, next absolutely. segment. So we're going to do a couple of drinks, and we're going to talk about why he's doing these great drinks in just a second. But the first one is called a Spaghetti Western, and yes. I've been told uh, you don't have to be in West Connecticut, nor is there any spaghetti involved in the No, drink. the reason we call it a Spaghetti Western is because it harkens back to those Spaghetti Western days, the Clint Eastwood movies. I was going to say Clint Eastwood yep. made, made a couple of dimes. Absolutely. Those, right? So yeah. we pay homage to that by using Mezcal and by mm -hmm. also using Aperol, which is an Italian aperitif. So it's a liqueur mm -hmm. that you drink to kind of get your taste buds you're, ready to You're eat. mixing a whole bunch of parts oh, of the Oh, yeah, water. absolutely. They do that at Geronimo. They've got a heck of a drink menu and 400 tequilas and mezcals and, and, and agaves and everything, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yes, they, sir. They, they, if they don't have it, it don't exist. What else is going in this thing? So uh, what else we have in here is a little bit of Aperol, mm -hmm. lime juice, right. blood orange puree, and mezcal. I love this. Can you hear me over the shaking for Pete's sake? Uh, if you look, uh, well, just just take a look right in front of us. I, again, I call it the Crayola box of margaritas here. Uh, don't give that to these your kids. Uh, all the different flavors you do there with the margaritas are uh, just absolutely impressive. The blood orange, the strawberry, the jalapeno, and the cucumber infused stuff. Nice stuff, we right? We infuse our own tequilas. We, we, we really try to... Uh, show people that tequila is more than just margaritas, more than right. just shots. Yeah. It really is a very versatile and, and liquor. We, and we can round it. The, I mean, it's so much more than a bar because uh, their the, their staff is well versed in this stuff. You guys have been Absolutely. certified for knowing your stuff when yes. it comes to tequila. That is a, a beautiful look at You want to get a close up of that, Tim, and get it before I, I, I chug it? No, I would never <laughs> do that. Not at least on camera. All right, the Spaghetti Western, one down. What's the next drink you're All right. making? So the next one we're going to make is a Mezcal Negroni. Now this okay. is going to be a take on the classic Negroni cocktail, uh -huh. which is usually made with gin. Again, not from the Southwest. No, no. <laughs> However, but we use a mezcal that is very botanical. Okay. So the mezcal itself is made with nine different botanicals, so it gives it that floral scent, right. just like you would get with gin. Very nice. And it's very, very easy. Same okay. build as a regular Negroni. You just take one ounce of your mezcal, and then an ounce of your sweet vermouth. And then one ounce of good old Kambadi. I love this. Now, because this doesn't have juice in this, uh -huh. this is a common mistake made by everybody. Anything made with juice must be shaken. Anything that's just made with liquor mm -hmm. has to be stirred. You're going to stir that. Absolutely. Uh -huh. so we're going to add a little bit of ice in there. So when James Bond wanted his martini shaken, there was no juice in it, so he was really going off the books, he was wasn't going he? off the books, absolutely. Well, he's drinking Heineken these days. <laughs> Who knows what's going 007 on? 007 had no idea what the heck he was talking about. Imagine that. Very interesting, and by the way, all the all the ingredients, a few of them are to, uh, you're right on the screen right now. Of course, we'll have it on our website at fox61.com, or you can go into the, either one of the Geronimo joints uh, down in Fairfield or New Haven, and they will hook you up with uh, these drinks, which you're making for uh, New Haven Restaurant Week, which is starting on uh, August 18th, is it not? It is Cocktail Week, believe it or not. So, New Haven, there's cocktail a Cocktail Week, what did I say? There's I, a I real understand. resurgence going on right now with cocktails and liquors, and New Haven's kind of on the forefront of that. Mm -hmm. Harkening back, and that's why we're using this, harkening back to the old school original as, cocktails. As we learned in uh, Day Trippers a few months ago that uh, the cocktail was uh, invented, got its start in New Haven. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to this. Cheers uh, to you, Luigi my friend. Luigi Rapuano, nice to see you. Nice to see you Ger as well. Geronimo, Tequila Bar in Southwest Grill. Go check them out, and cheers. We'll be back with more coming. Absolutely. Up.